Hello everyone! I'm doing another plan with me in my Weekend 2 Pages uh, vertical So Much Crafting inserts and I am loving them so far. I've only done a couple weeks in them but I'm kind of obsessed. So it's the perfect amount of room. Um, I'll show you last week's. So I did my April Mystery Kit again for the second time because I had done it, I had done a big spread in my Erin Condren vertical, my vertical Erin Condren, and I ended up not even using it, so I decided to use it again so I could actually appreciate it. So I loved this spread, it was super cute, super functional, um, it's not too much space, and I like actually being able to carry my planner around with me. So I'm really loving keeping all of my to-dos in my personal, like everything's in here. I have my shop stuff, my personal stuff, my monthly everything, like it's all in here. So loving it so far. So uh, this week, well anyway, a, an overview. Um, I have a bunch of, I had a bunch of weekly to-dos I actually didn't get to tackle last week. I overscheduled again. So um, I will be probably transferring a lot of those over to this week. But anyway, um, this coming week, with all of my post-its, um, I will be using a kit from Cricut Paper Co. That I actually got this kit a while ago, but it's super cute and I want to use it because it's supposed to rain this week, so might as well make it like a good thing that it's raining. So I got this originally for April, but I'm going to use it this week. Isn't this adorable? Look at them. I'm hoping it's focusing enough on there. Super cute. So yeah, these are the full boxes, obviously the star of the show. And then she has a functional sheet in here. I don't remember exactly how much this was. I can check and I'll put it in the description box. Um, but she, her shop is very affordable and she ships really quickly. She's just a total rock star because she works full time and like continues to just kick butt at the whole sticker shop game. So. So yeah, lots of functional stickers, and these, this is the reason why I decided to use this in this week's spread, because I I think these are kind of perfect for like the top three um, for, for each day, because I think, at least last week, it worked out super well having just my top three, because I use my, my day designer for my daily to-dos, and I just kind of put in my top three for the day in here, because they're like my main goals. So I don't need like the full ombre checklist because I have a running to-do list throughout the day anyway. So yeah, anyway, this is the reason why I decided on this and these can actually be used in my, I have a week on one page with grid um, also and that's my shop. That's like all my sh shop to-dos and everything so I'll actually probably be using these in there too. And then some like more functional full boxes. I might use this for my this week area underneath this post-it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so this will be fun. Um, I think I actually will bring in, I have some, just because I'm addicted to using like little things, uh, I might bring in some of these blue ones if they work, if I need them. I don't think I'll really need them. I'm going to try not to use them just because I want to see how far I can stretch the kit. So this is a lot of stickers. It's not like I need to stretch it, but, um, but yeah. Erica's stickers are awesome. I will link her down below and I should get planning. So, so yeah, like last week, if you watch my plan with me, I usually have a shop, like I have just a post-it saying down here for my shop to do every day and then my personal. And I just kind of fill that in as I go the week before and it helps me stay organized while I'm doing my planning, planning for the next week. And yeah, so I will stick these just out of frame, but it'll keep me on track, so hopefully I won't ramble too much. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I pop these out. One of the best things about using a Kiki and inserts. So yeah, pop them out, set this to the side. And then as I'm planning, I usually look through my monthly and my shop sections of my Kiki. So I will see if I can find some room. I have a lot of stuff sitting over here, let's be honest. Um, so, alrighty, let's see if I can zoom you guys in just because that way you can see it up close and personal, wrong way. 
Okay, so hopefully that's nice and close for you. Um, I will get started. Hmm. I want to make sure I can get as many of these full boxes in as I can because they are freaking adorable. Like, I love them. So I actually might not even put in a this week uh, checklist over here just so I can get another one of these guys in and just not have them covered up with anything. Just because I really do have a running weekly to-do list in my shop section of my planner anyway and most of my weekly to-dos are for the shop. I think my only one that isn't regarding the shop this week is setting up my budget, but I think they'll end up being kind of a shop budget too, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so I might actually put them up here. Sorry. Still figuring out these inserts, but I do love them so far. We shall see. I'm very indecisive. So to begin with, let's see. Personal inventory. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually going to start laying these down. I will be putting them down on every day of the week just because this will force me to plan around them. That way, I can't cover, I can't forego them. Super cute. And I always, I always thought I would need headers in here, but my to do and today headers just seem really redundant in these. I don't know why, it's probably just because it's actually limited space. I think a little bit more about what I'm putting in here, but I haven't found that I needed to put in any headers. So yeah, I'm just putting down my full boxes. This week's kind of, I mean, it's kind of crazy, but also not because it's just big projects that I'm, I know what I'm working on every day. It's not a bunch of like crazy, tedious things that I need to be doing. And this past weekend I went to Chicago. Woohoo! Um, I went to the Elton Brown, if you're a fan, hopefully you are, you'll understand why this was so awesome. But I went to the Elton Brown Eat Your Science tour and it was amazing, like better than I thought it would even be. So, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out which one. I think I would be putting this up in the corner. It's super cute. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I went to Chicago, got brunch and got sushi and salt and brown and it was awesome um yeah so i'm still trying to get in the, back into the swing of things so i also went back up to my hometown on sunday like right after we went straight up from chicago which actually isn't very far i live in madison wisconsin so um anyway sorry i am all over the place i seriously film my plan with me is when I'm like still crazy from the day of work and I need to just like calm down first, but I don't have time. Um, yeah, so Sunday was super fun. Got We have like a drive-in frozen custard place in my hometown and it's called Gillies. I mean, if you're, if you're from the Fond du Lac area, you'll be like, oh my God, I know what you're talking about. But otherwise, I hope it sounds as charming as it is because it really is super charming. And it's the highlight of every trip up there. So yeah, we went there for lunch with my friend's mom to kind of treat her for Mother's Day. And it was super cute. She's like one of my favorite people. And it was wonderful. So yeah. Also, side note. This is her, this is Erica's weekend banner style. Why is it not focusing? Sorry. <laughs> Still getting used to this camera. Anyway, oh yeah, there it, go, there it goes. So this is her weekend banner style. People have been pointing out that a few other shops have been doing this, and I don't think they realize that she was kind of the first person. At least she's like one of the first people I've seen that's that's done it, and I I love it. But I would just like to point out that she was one of the first, if not the first person to make this a thing. Um. 
I just don't want to cover up too much of Thursday and Friday. Hmm. There we go. Hopefully that'll work. So, super cute. Love her stickers. I'm hoping to actually do some more Plan With Me's. Um, I got a ton of horizontal kits from her. Again, she, her stickers are super affordable. You'll love them, in case you haven't already checked them out. I feel like a lot of people already know about her, so. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do a bunch more horizontal Plan With Me's. Just, they would be mock Plan With Me's, but I still feel like it's cool to see what stickers are out there. And just kind of, I don't know. I mostly just watch Plan With Me's because I need something to watch. And it's just kind of relaxing. I don't know. It's kind of like a treat yourself thing. But, anywho. So I'm hoping to get some more mock Plan With Me's up. Not that I really have any yet. But, let's see here. I think I'm going to cut these down. Just so I have some washi type strips. I don't know. Just because if I put these down with the rounded corners, not that it's Erica's fault whatsoever. I have I have the same type of thing in my shop, but it just bothers me if there's white space underneath them. I don't know why. It just does. But yeah, so I'm going to cut these things in half or something. Look at a little strip of them basically. And just put them down. But yeah, I'm hoping, uh, maybe I shouldn't mention this because I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not, but I'm really, really hoping that I can do Monday, Wednesday, Friday plan with me's. Cause I think that would be fun. It would, I'm hoping that Monday would be the actual plan with me, like in these inserts. And then Wednesday and Friday would just be mock plan with me's with somebody else's kits. Or if I have new releases, just showing you guys what my kits look like. I think that'd be fun. And once I get back, once I get into the hang of it, it shouldn't be tedious, really. Right now, it's still a learning curve, just because I'm not super good at video, but not a big deal. I will learn. This I've actually learned a lot so far from filming just by doing these few plan with me's, and it's kind of fun. I never understood why people were so into YouTube, honestly just because I'm also a total introvert and like socially awkward, all this stuff. But um, yeah, I totally get it. Like it's, I mean, I've always enjoyed watching videos, but I never ever thought that I would film videos ever, ever. But sorry, I'm really rambly today. Hopefully you guys aren't like watching this hoping you're going to get a bunch of super cool tips, but just because I am all over the place. Right now I'm just filling it in with these three heart checklist boxes, well, half boxes type of things, um, and these little fake washi strip uh, things. So after I get all these in, I will start filling in little things that I need to to do throughout the week and I'll actually fill these in. I normally don't do it on camera just because my handwriting isn't great. It kind of changes like every day but I think I'll actually fill in some of them just because I'm not using the little things and normally I know what they are because I'll pick obviously the TV ones for TV blah 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 but um yeah and this week I can't really watch that much TV because my boyfriend is helping his dad move. He, his dad just bought a condo. It's his first um, home purchase, I guess, um, which is really exciting. But he's going to be helping him move Tuesday and Wednesday. So I can't really watch any TV without Jesse because we're one of those couples that gets really upset with the other one if they watch stuff without them. <laughs> So, I know I would be upset with him, so I'm trying not to watch stuff. But, yeah, so I guess I'll just have to work. Not get distracted. Lame. But, anyway, so that'll be fun. Honestly, I'm actually really excited because I'll get the house to myself for a couple days. 
Not that he'll watch this. I don't want him knowing that I'm this excited about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am pretty excited because I work from home. He's like he works actually downstairs in our apartment complex, so he's here all the time. And I love him to bits, but I want my separate time. You probably get it. But yeah, so I am very excited and I'm trying to think of all the things I can do, although I'm pretty sure it'll just be cutting stickers. And I can actually talk about this now because it was uh, announced uh, Friday, I think. Um, I am contributing to the Planner Attic sticker box and that's what's sucking up my entire week. I'm very excited about it, it's just that I think the camera cut out. I told myself I was going to figure that out last time and I totally forgot. All of a sudden I heard a beep and I looked up and it wasn't recording. And this sticker is not going down right. Probably should have waited to start recording until after that. But anyway, I keep wanting to ask you guys what you're doing, but you guys won't see this until much later. Oh my god. I should just go on Periscope and do these. But I don't think people want to sit through that long of a periscope. Oh my god, this is brutal. What's going on? <laughs> Actually, what am I thinking? I'm going to put down... I'm a liar. No, I won't. I'm just going to put down this little strip here. I was going to put down a little thing, but I'm just going to cover it up anyway with a Shonda Fest sticker. Because that's the only thing I care about on Fridays. Because, as I've mentioned a million times, um, I have Hulu, so my Shonda Fest is not TGIT, it's TGIF. Because everything's a day later. But I really don't mind. I think, honestly, if I could watch on Thursday, I wouldn't get like anything done. Because Thursdays usually when I get a ton of stuff done for the shop. Um... Oh, I'm gonna cover up her little booties. She's so cute. I love these. Um, I also have a mermaid kit from her, which I think might be horizontal. I'll have to check, but I'll have to plan with that sometime because it's super cute. Like, super cute. I I wanted to do a mermaid kit, but then I realized like a million people were doing mermaid kits. So I decided not to because, you know, I try to be different and whatnot. But. Her mermaids are totally different than what everybody else is doing, and they're super cute and like retro and adorable. Anyway, I probably shouldn't talk about them without actually showing you guys. But they are precious. And I meant to do a haul. I'm actually, actually, let me know if you guys want me to do a haul. I still have a ton of stuff I haven't opened because I thought I was going to do a big haul for everything, and then I've just waited too long, and now I'm not sure if it's too long. That I've waited to do a haul that's just too old and it's not really worth it but it's been like a month for some of this stuff and it's still like packed up just because I'm I've been holding out hope that I'll actually sit down and film but I haven't yet so yeah let me know if you still want to see a haul it would be giant like a ton of stuff just because I've been building up all this stuff for so long it's a bunch of clips like I got a bunch of stuff from uh, shop somebody who makes the Michael Scott clip and like all of those she has like friends clips and everything I got all of them they're great but yeah so I have like that stuff and a ton of stickers and blah blah I'm hoping to do um, a bunch of shop swaps soon but I'm actually leaving for San Diego uh, the 28th so I don't know if I should really announce any shop swaps right now just because I won't be here so I don't want a bunch of stuff coming in while I'm gone. But maybe I can shop while I'm there. I don't know. But um, I'm really excited for San Diego. I, if you guys know what I should be doing there, like if there's anything I should check out while I'm there, let me know because I've never been there. It's for Jesse, my boyfriend. It's his family. Oh, wrong color. Can't use that. Um, his aunt actually lives there, so I'm really excited to meet. Well, I've met them before just a few times, but it's such a long trip up here that we don't really see them very often. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to go there. 
they've been trying to get us to go for so long. And we finally got enough time off of work to go. So anyway, as I've been blabbing, I actually kind of figured this out. So I will be putting down that full box here if I can find it because I've made a mess already. Ta-da. There it is. Look how cute. Look how cute. Also, I don't know if you can really tell from the video, I guess, but um, her stickers are really, really vibrant. Like, they're all in matte paper, and just from my own personal experience, matte paper isn't always the best, which is why I switched to my, like, premium matte, like my velvet matte, as Andrea calls it. Um, but she actually found really, really vibrant beautiful matte paper so just another plug for her shop honestly it's she has awesome stuff and it's really affordable and again she's just a sticker badass and I love her Erica's super sweet really talented so look at how cute that is I'll show you look at that so pretty also didn't even notice that like rainbow meeting up there, but super cute. Um, I will ch -ch -ch. wonder if I have a this week's sticker. No, I don't. Um, I'll put little things. She has her, she has a ton of headers right here. If I was using an Erin Condren, obviously these would come in handy for sure. But right now I'm just going to use a little things header because that makes sense to me. And then, I might actually just trim down a checklist flag. So cute. Love her stickers. Yep. I keep having to remind myself to think out loud, but... <laughs> I'm getting used to it, sort of. I'm hopefully getting better. Um, I'm hoping by doing all these plan with me's that it'll just be second nature after a while. But yeah, so I cut a little checklist flag. It's kind of running into the Tuesday there, but we'll see. We shall see. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna pick that right back up. Also, they come right back up super easy, just so you know. That's important. I'll just do a little midgety to-do flag there. And let's look at my weekly list. All right, I wanna get new freebies made, budget, blah, blah, blah. Um, I will actually write down budget though. Work on my budget. And also, I would like to point out, I think I've mentioned this before, but Le Pens are like my favorite pen. Let's see if it's focusing. Now it is. Okay, so these write really, really well in case you haven't tried, and I will see if I can grab a link. I buy these in packs of like 12, I think, on Amazon, and it makes them really cheap. So. They're awesome and I don't have to worry about running out because I buy a ton of them at once. So I used to be obsessed with black Stettlers. I still like, I'll still use them. There's nothing wrong with them, but I love these. They're really black. They write really smoothly and yeah, I love them. So I'll see if I can grab a link and put it in the description. So let's see. I also have to get Austin details figured out, which Turns out I'm actually going there. Um, Erica from Cricut Paper Co. is also going there. So I will be meeting her in person. Yay! Um, but it's for Andrea from Scribble Prints. She's throwing a planner party August 15th, I think. Maybe I'll see if I can grab a link. Maybe I'm over promising. Hopefully I'll put all the links in there. But yeah, so we're going in August to Austin. And I'm really excited because I've never gone. And honestly, I'm sorry. If I don't concentrate, I will spell stuff wrong. I put a comma. Mm. Actually, 
actually, I'll make use of that comma just as I don't want to cross it out or like do anything stupid because this will be one of the last bits of pen in here. And I'll put down Philly just because I need to figure that out too. I was supposed to go to Philly for the East Coast Planner Con and I'm not entirely sure I'm going to just because they haven't sold a ton of tickets. They've sold like, I mean I think they're selling about 120 but they haven't sold out yet and I'm just wondering if I should cut that out of my travel schedule this summer because I'm really packed and I don't know if I can really handle all of that with the shop and everything. So I gotta figure out Austin and Philly. I'm for sure going to Austin but I have to figure out Philly this week because it would be June 24th. I mean, if you guys want to go, it's June 24th through 26th. Look up East Coast Planner Con. Um, I'm sure it'll be super fun. I'm just, it's just because I have a lot of travel going on that I'm not sure if I'll be able to go. So, Austin and Philly, Monday. Let's see here. I'm going to figure out inventory on Monday because my inventory is a mess. I've been kind of like half ready to ship, half made to order just since my birthday. It's been crazy. So, inventory. I feel like I said that really weirdly. Um, zero orders. That would be awesome if I could do that. Um, let's zoom in here. Wrong way. My camera's really hot. Sorry. Not used to actually using a camera. I, I mentioned this in the last one, but this is a new camera. And I'm loving it so far, but I'm still getting used to having to be careful about it not overheating and all that stuff. So I'm used to using my phone, honestly. Uh, let's see. Filming day. That looks stupid, but film all the things. I have to film an unboxing. I would like to film a sped up horizontal plan with me. And I got Gabby from Gabriella Elena Designs. I got her mystery kits, so I am really excited. I need to do a mock plan with me with those, or with at least one of them. And I think I have a few other things I want to film. I might actually film my, a little haul, like a little mini haul from Little Miss Papery and Scribble prints. I got their their monthly mystery kits, so really excited about those. They're both gorgeous. So anyway, uh, Tuesday, Jesse will be helping his dad move. I don't really know if I want to put that down though. Wednesday, I need to change my trays. I have Invisalign, so I've changed my trays this week. I'm actually a week behind. I don't know if you can hear my boyfriend, but he's playing video games and he's laughing like a little girl. Oh, sorry, I wasn't in frame there. Oops. Um, I'm also really bad about that. So, let's see here. Thursday is my second favorite night for TV. Uh, Modern Family and Blackish and Fam. And. I basically just write down those two, but honestly, I just go through everything that's new on TV. So, I usually do that while I'm cutting or designing, but usually I can't do it while I design or I don't get anything done. So, let's see here. I might be helping out with moving on Saturday. I'm just going through my list that's out of frame here. Sorry about that. But, um, hmm. Actually, pretty darn sure it will be going up there. So, new freebies. When do I want to make those? Hmm. I'll wait on that. So, change trays on Wednesday. Jesse's moving. All right. So, I mentioned earlier that I'm doing the Planetic sticker box. I would like to make it a goal to finish those up, obviously, as early as possible. So, I'm hoping. Tuesday and Wednesday, I can at least get 150 to 200 sheets done. So, that's not too lofty of a goal. That should be pretty easy, as long as the cameos are, or the portraits are behaving. I switched it over to all portraits, 
uh, recently, and I keep calling them cameos. But they're portraits. They behave better, and I like them better. So they're a lot smaller too, which is awesome. So Wednesday, I need to design my June mystery kit because I am behind schedule. So. And, oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Tuesday I should design the mystery kit. Wednesday will be my doodle kit design day. Not that I'll finish them on those days, but at least if I get a good chunk of them done, it's not as overwhelming because half the battle is getting started on them. Like everything. So, Saturday is my deadline for shipping out the sticker box or the sticker box goodies. There's so many. Um, ship. P-A-S-B. That's how I've been abbreviating it. I think that's how it's abbreviated. Um, Friday, I would like to work on my branding. I haven't announced this yet, but I will be rebranding. And I don't know when I'll be announcing it on Instagram. But I am so excited because I have, I have like, bigger things I want to do with the shop. Not that I don't love doing stickers, I love doing stickers, but because I make all my own artwork, I want to move into other things too, because I put so much time into the artwork I make. Um, but I don't feel like my current logo can handle that. It probably sounds really dumb to other people, but it's just been a thing that I've been dealing with. So I have a new logo and I am so excited to show everybody, but I want to come up with all of my branding first. So, branding, and I'm kind of sad that it won't be on my sticker box sheets. People will probably be really confused. So, um, freebies, okay, new freebies. Also, I have to figure out, let's see, meetup, designs. Everybody's having meetups, like everyone. Okay, it quit on me again, stupid camera. So I saw it too, like I looked right up at it right when I was quitting. So anyway, um, Saturday will be a design day. Thank God, I am so excited to just have a design day. Um, although I'm pretty sure it'll turn into like the mystery kit design day, which is kind of like, I love doing the mystery kits, but just having a deadline like that does not jive well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just not good with designing for a deadline. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm, I have ideas in mind. Like I know what I'm doing for the mystery kit. I'm just not good at, like the more I think about how the deadline's looming, the less I can design because I'm freaking out about it. But anyway, Saturday, design day, yes. And that deserves a doodle, which I'll get out in a second. Um, Sunday filming day. I would like to move all my filming days to Sunday. I've just been thrown off from the Chicago trip and like mystery kits and everything. So filming day, uh, inventory check. This is for like packaging and stuff. And, oh shoot, I totally forgot. Uh, Tuesday is the last call. That worked perfectly because I had another spot. Last call for subs because all of them renew on the 11th. Well, most of them. Some people are renewing on the 15th, but um, they renew on the 11th, so I have to pull them out of the shop and get everything ready for that. So I will do a last call for those. I don't think I'll be keeping them in the shop as long next month just because... I, I struggle with wanting everyone to get one if they want one, but also they're a limited edition thing, so I have to pull them out at some point. So, yeah, so I think in the future, as in next month probably, I won't be keeping them in as long. And Thursday, what's going on Thursday? Let's see if I can finish the Planetic sticker box especially if I'm watching all my shows. And if that's the case, I should be able to ship out on Friday. That way I'll freak out a lot less. I'm freaking out that something will happen to all of them. Um, 
let's see here. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, plan with me's. I don't know if I'll put that in here. I actually have a whole YouTube section set up in my Kiki for my YouTube schedule and Instagram schedule. So pretty happy about it so far. I've been using it a whole week. <laughs> That's it. But so far I'm happy with it. Um, already, I know I'm saying um a lot. No, it's all you hear. Thursday, I think I will actually leave that, actually, wait. Hmm. Actually, Thursday, I will reorganize the office because that's on my weekly list, and if I'm cutting, maybe I can just have uh, just a few of them cutting while I'm reorganizing because the office is driving me insane. Reorganize office. It's just drive me nuts. Like there are boxes everywhere and I'm like jumping over stuff and it's just a mess. So I don't get anything done when it's a mess. Um, let's see here. Some of these I can just stay in my shop to do. I transferred a lot of these over onto my post-its from my shop to-do list so I might just leave them there. So I always check that every day too when I'm making my I, I set up my day designer usually the morning of. I used to do it the day before or like the night before, but sometimes overnight I'll think of more things to add to it. So anyway, Sunday I will get San Diego freebies ready. Not, well, I put down ship, but they'll actually ship on Monday. So, yeah, um, my friend Gabby, who I mentioned earlier, um, from Gabriella Lee and Design, she mentioned that San Diego is having a meetup, so I'm going to send some cute stuff. But hopefully I get those designed on Friday and bust my butt to get them out on time. Let's see here. Sorry, just zooming out for you. So, yeah, this is my spread. Super cute. I have a ton of stickers left over just because I bought the, it was like a limited edition larger kit. So I have lots of little schniblets from these squares left over, like these blank full boxes. And I have lots of these left over which are really functional. I, like I mentioned earlier, I'll probably be using them in my week on one page spreads. I love having so many of these. I just love it. So these... I will probably be using throughout the week if I have extra things. Actually, give me a second. I totally forgot. I will put this down on Wednesday because that's when my subs are renewing. I don't know. Where should I put it? <laughs> um, sorry, I'm trying to find a way that I don't cover up the cuteness. Oh, that's frustrating. Nah. Honestly, cuteness won out over functionality. So I will find a way to fit something on there for my subs renewing. Although I already know I have like a ton of alarms set and everything. But, and I get like a flood of orders coming in all at once. So it's not like I can really forget. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and the functional sheet, lots of stuff is left over. This would be perfect for an anachondron type of spread with all the headers and everything. Just the only reason I didn't use them. Obviously, you don't need as many stickers in something like this. But her normal kits are much more well suited to this kind of planning. They're really good for white space planning or so much crafting inserts like this. So. Super cute. Uh, check them out. Like I mentioned, I will put it all down below if you haven't already checked that out. So I will also try to get you guys a link for the Le Pens. Super good. Like, I don't know if you saw. Don't judge my handwriting. Like, don't base the pen on my handwriting because the pens are awesome. My handwriting is not. But they are wonderful. I am obsessed with them and I also love buying things in bulk. I'm a Costco type of person, but yes, yeah, so I get 12 of them at a time. I have just boxes, like boxes of these sitting by my desk, and I love them. So yeah, I will pop this back into my planner. By the way, this is 
show you quick. I have the Paws Kiki, the personal one, obviously, and I love it. And people keep commenting on the black rings, and I'm like, heck yeah, that was why I got it. Well, I mean, I got it because it's spotted, but love those black rings too. So yeah, I will zoom out a little bit more. Again, wrong way. So you guys can't see all the schniblets all around here. <laughs> but there's so many sticker scraps. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like this. I'm I'm hoping you guys are okay with like the chattier plan with me. So that's why I'm hoping to balance it out with um, some of the sped up ones. So you guys can just watch me play and not listen to me talk. Oh! Sorry, but I just gotta show you guys. Michael Scott has a sticker stuck on his forehead and I'm dying, but I'm just gonna leave that for a little bit because it's hilarious. But I always have them lurking over here. And it always cracks me up whenever people notice. Whenever I post pictures, he's always just kind of creeping in the corner. But anyway, I got distracted again. But um, keep an eye out for more plan with me's. I am really hoping to get a good schedule going and doing some more fake plan with me's just I don't know I think they're fun I know some people are really kind of conflicted about them but I like them I haven't done any but I love watching them I'm still perfectly fine watching them I have no issues with it so so yeah I will hopefully get some more videos up too and hopefully you enjoyed this one thank you so much for watching and thanks for listening to me blab on about myself so bye